Hello everyone. Uh, good morning. This is Satish Kumar from Mindfair Solutions. I work as a senior software engineer uh, for the last five years in Mindfair. And mostly I work on PHP technologies and I work on different frameworks like HP Code Igniters and then Symfony. Uh, this video is going to be the first video for the Symfony series that we'll be you know uh, seeing in uh, in a Mindfair channel. Um, so to start on with this Symfony series, we are going to cover up how to install and configure Symfony in a Ubuntu box. Uh, if you there are two ways that you can uh, install a symphony package one is by getting an archive of a tar package uh, from the symphony site and then you know uncompress it and then uh, run the vendor files the other fa easiest way is to have the composer package you know get the composer.far file and then run the vendor libraries out of that uh, let's see like how to do this via the composer package just quickly moving down to the project directory <coughs> If you don't have the composer file already installed, it's pretty much simple. All you have to do is run this command. It will take a couple of minutes because you know, depending upon your uh, uh, network connection speed but it should be you no know, fairly quick like as it have happened uh, so the next step since we have this composer.far file installed we need to install the symphony standard framework edition to do this just copy this command and then run it with sudo access because at times there are some problems with the permission issues so to be on the safer side just try to run it via sudo access and this shows you are running via dexus php is the php command that you will be running on composer.far file is the path of the composer file create project is a command and then you want to get the standard framework edition to be stored in the path projects test simply so everything seems to be fine now if you are running this one depending upon your network speed it will take a minimum of 5 minutes to maximum of 15 minutes so i made pass the video and then you know revert it back i mean get back when you when the installation is done now things are loading <coughs> pretty much quick and we'll come to a stage where we will need to um, give the database driver details like as i said now so you can i am just going by the default way of mysql if you want you can switch on to um, MongoDB and the database host will be the local host port default database name symphony database is a root password and just going to skip the mail details and we are all done now wow that's pretty much quick isn't it let's quickly check whether this file exists or not yeah, we do have it now what we have is the physical folder residing in the project directory but to make it browsable you need to push the <coughs> application code base to the browsable area so we can create a quick symbolic link out of this package to do so all you need to do is create a symbolic link to the web directory because web directory is the place where you have all your friend controller and the public files being residing when you say public files or assets we pointed to uh, javascript css and uh, images we can also have a quick cross check here yeah we have a symbolic link of test symphony and it is pointing to uh, the home place where the project is residing so we can quickly check on the browser um, i'm having app dev.php as a friend controller because uh, for any development environment we have app underscore dev if you are on production it is app.php and by default symphony ships up with three different environments one is application development environment which is we call it as dev the other one is production environment the third one is tested environment okay now all we need to do is make this 
cache file and the log file writable to do so let's quickly go to the app folder system is pretty much <coughs> hanging up so um, this should be fine since we made the uh, catch and the log directories to be writable this will you know bring up the uh, symphony home screen and then you can have your own routes and controllers to uh, you know define your own paths on that now you have the symphony home screen so um, i think now installing and configuring symphony is pretty much simple there are uh, more configuration parameters that you can find in config.yml file but this should be good enough to start on with symphony 2 i hope you enjoyed watching this thanks for watching